Yo, what is going on y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson and we are back with another video here and this is actually on another one of my channels. I decided to make this channel where I'm going to house this content simply because I, I really have nothing else to use this channel for and <laughs> yeah, so that's why I decided to just, you know, bring everything and start moving it over here. This is where you'll be able to find my YouTube tips, my um, my guides, my courses, my every everything that I have going on, you'll be able to find it here. And all the information that I have about growing on YouTube, getting tens of millions of views, hundreds of millions, billions of views, everything will be here. Um, so yeah, that this is the channel you'll be able to find that on moving forward. Now, we're gonna be talking about something. I actually called this on my other channel, Cavell Anderson. Um, I called it on my other channel. I explained to you all how the things that she was doing and the way that she was moving and operating was slowly starting to kill her channel. And I even explained exactly how to revive it and how to reverse what was done and how to take steps into a, a more positive direction where she can have real longevity on the platform. At the end of the day, I know that the fact that she's still growing, gaining a few subscribers here and there, it's impressive to people who haven't really been able to get too far on the platform. But most people who have gotten somewhere on the platform knows that what she's doing isn't that great. She got lucky and there's nothing wrong with that. She she worked hard and she deserved the notoriety that she got. But I could tell very quickly that she wasn't willing to really put in the work for her audience. She she got lucky, she got an audience and she was gonna use them and milk them for everything that they they were worth. Like that that's the type of way that she operated and that does not last on YouTube. That, there's no longevity in that. You're not gonna be here years later doing that, taking that approach to YouTube. When it comes down to business in general, anything when it comes down to business, it's about bringing the most value to people because when you bring value to people, they come back to you. Any any business knows that. Like this is how it works with any customer. You give that customer the best value they could possibly get for, with your service and they're going to recommend you, they're going to come back, you're going to be their go-to. And if you're not considering your fans and, and, and like with, with all these courses and stuff like that, the way that she pushes her course and the, the the stuff that I believe is made up, the whole, oh, you all are buying the course so much. I mean, and all this great feedback, like uh, paying, what, $27 for a, a 40 minute video is crazy work. Um, and, and it's not worth it at all. Like it's so many free videos online that'll teach you how to edit for free. Um, and it, it's just, the, her approach to scamming her audience just was never going to last. But let's, let's actually check it out. Let's look at the analytics for her channel. Look at what's been going on. So as you all can see, if you remember on my um on my last video that I made over on my other channel, this was at 20,000 views. This was at 20,000 subscribers. She gained 20,000 subscribers in the last 30 days at that point in time. And I told you all that this was gonna start going down. Then it went down to 18. Then I made another video when it went down to 17. Now it has dropped down to 15. Um, this has gone, it went down from a million to like 800K to like 700K and now it's down to 600K heading into 500K. So, and and I know that for a lot of people, this is still impressive. Like you would love to have these, these type of results right here, but there's no reason that the, this her success should have been so short lived. She had an amazing opportunity to really change her life forever. I'm not talking about just a quick 10K here, 20K here. Even if she made 100K, she had the opportunity to become a multimillionaire off of the position that she was in, and she had no idea. She had no idea the position that YouTube had blessed her with. She lucked up and got the, she lucked up and got recognition in one of the most lucrative communities on the entire platform. And then she, she does this with it. But this is why, honestly, I hate to play the race car, but this is why black people don't make it too far. You get into a position where you could change your life forever and you do some black shit. That, that's really what it comes down to. Because you could have gave these people value. You could have gotten better. You could have educated yourself and done more. But instead, you wanted to keep just manipulating, manipulating, and manipulating. And up until the point where now this is this is where it, it's been on a de decline, just a, just a strong ass decline. And it never had to be this way. Look, look at this. So as you can see, she gained 100 subscribers today, 200, 300. We were seeing 800 here and there and stuff like that. Now all that's gone. She barely has those type of good days. So she has one 500 subscriber day in all of this and they are not another one. Like everything is slowly starting to go down. As you can see, look at the views. She was getting 50,000. Like honestly, this was higher. Some days she was getting 100K, but now she she gets 50K here and there. She, she got, uh, and, and that's not even, this is like the first time that you see two, you know, 
less than 20K days, like back to back. Like she had one here and then she got above 20K again. Now she got this and then she, she got another one. So if you look at the signs, you look at all the information, you can easily tell that she's going downhill. Look at the short turn her channel made. So she was getting subscribers. She went like this and blew up. And then she went straight back down like that. That's not normal. That's not normal for somebody who blows up like that's not you, like usually it goes up a little bit longer, not one good video. And then your career is slowly dying from there. That's that's really not the way to approach YouTube. So um, this video isn't to really just bash her or to talk about her or, or the mistakes that she's making. It's to express to you all the importance of actually valuing the content that you make, valuing your community and your blessings, and really living in a way that God would be happy with. Because the thing is, she manipulates. She she says the right things, but your actions speak louder than your words. You, you, you say all this stuff, but what are you genuinely doing for people? You have an opportunity to help people, but instead you're scamming them. You're scamming them for a, a course. You've scammed them with two different courses. Like, like the second she could, she created a store trying to sell, trying to sell merch to people. She literally start uh, scamming her audience with two courses that weren't worth getting. She has memberships on. She she's trying to get as many memberships on her um page as possible. And I I get it. It's like I get it. You're trying to you're trying to monetize as much as possible, but you should be focused on bringing value. Like value is is what keeps people around. Value is what will give you longevity in this game, and value is what it's all about. And she doesn't even know what her audience wants. So once again, let me explain to you all what you all want and you don't even know that you want it. This is a very quick and simple, like this, my coaching is far more in depth. I, I give way more information in my coaching, but away from the coaching, we're gonna do a simple job here. You look at the, this video right here, her most popular videos, it's from two months ago. Monetized, money, this is how much money. If you're over 50, get on YouTube. Okay, YouTube, YouTube, okay, YouTube revenue. So she's it's talking about YouTube, it's talking about YouTube revenue. Her Like out of her top four videos, two of them is talking about revenue spe specifically. And then it's one for 50 year olds. And because of where she ranked in this algorithm, she's ranking for people who's trying to start their life over at 50 years old, who's trying to get something more going for themselves at 50 years old. So that's essentially a money topic as well. Um, if you're pretty, you need to get on YouTube. I mean, it's it's pretty much the same little series that she's trying to do. I'm never going back to a nine to five. It's money. How 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 do I how do I make money? That's what it's about. This is an outlier video. It's random. Um, I didn't succeed on YouTube until I learned this. People who want to succeed on YouTube is looking to usually make money. So that's what she's doing. At risk of deactivation, she's clickbaiting her her um, subscribers. Cause now they think that she's not going to be making money. So she can't do the money updates and show them stuff. They're trying to see what's going on. So she had to clickbait her, her subscribers in order to, you know, like get, get their attention. And that's what she does. Um, YouTube AdSense money. So essentially you can see that her entire channel is all based around money. People want to see how to make money and they want to pocket watch her, which means that if she was doing things and showing people the money that she's making and, and literally showing people side hustles and all type of stuff like that, she would be dominating this lane and absolutely crushing it on YouTube. And she, it's an easy, easy home run, e easy play to knock out of the park. Um, but look at this. Instead, she's been, I have a stalker. I can't do this anymore. Now she's making a random video about being a stalker, having a stalker. And that's obviously going to get views because she has to clickbait her audience. She started, she, she, she kept trying to do revenue updates. That really wasn't working anymore. People are getting tired of seeing the same thing. Look at this. Finally, mon finally monetized my channel. She redid this video. Um, money, money I made, um, this money, she, she's making videos about money, 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 um, I can't do this anymore, stalker, and then she made another video about the stalker because, and then people didn't even bother to get clickbaited by that video, um, <clears throat> let's see, retail therapy, that's, that's not getting any views, if you're divorced, get your ass on YouTube, no views, um, I'm so grateful, I can't believe this happened to me, people are tired of seeing that same video, I, oh, the, the whole shocked face, it's like, this is what not to do when you're a content creator and you have your opportunity. Don't blow it like this because this is insane. She doesn't have to be doing these half-assed shitty videos. She could literally be inspiring. She could be doing more with the position that she's in. But instead, she's going shopping. She's clickbaiting her audience. She's talking about how she's getting evicted. 
all types of weird stuff saying, oh, you don't need tags. You don't need anything that, that has made everyone successful on YouTube since the beginning of time and since YouTube has ever existed. Don't do any of that. Don't listen to any of that. It's like, just, just listen to me. Oh, and buy my course and, and buy my clothes and buy the stuff that I say buy because I need your money. And that's essentially the whole vibe that she chose to take when she was in position to do some great things, man. So it's sad that it turned out this way. Um, but I mean, it is what it is. Hopefully you all can learn from this and actually change the way that you approach content creation and you, you actually find a more positive route. Find a more positive route, appreciate and value the people that watch you and value their time. Because when you, you're, you're, she's wasting a lot of people's time. That's why her viewership is going down. She's wasting a lot of people's time. Time is valuable. And, and she, look at this, she's making videos for 50 year olds. You think they got time to be wasting? Come on now. And not to say that that's old, but I'm just saying, but like they done had a lot of life that they done lived. They don't got time to hear you bullshit them for the longest. And, and none of the stuff that you're saying is even going to work for them. Like, that, that's just like, why would you even do that to people? Like, like why, like what type of person even abuses people in that way? And then you have her fan base, parts of her fan base that's oblivious to what's going on. So anyone who criticizes the bad behaviors and things that she's exhibiting, like they, they come and try to attack us when the reality is you all deserve better. Like you deserve better from a content creator, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. I just wanted to share with you, with you all my thoughts and basically explain what's been going on and why her channel has gone to the state that it's gone to. I said that this was going to happen like weeks ago and it's it's playing out exactly how I said it was, which I mean, it was always going to. I've been doing YouTube for 10 years. It's the reason that I'm qualified to have courses and I'm qualified to coach and things like this. It's, it's like I, I have the results to back up everything that I've talked about. And a lot of people don't have those results. Most people don't have those results. You can find YouTubers with millions and millions of subscribers who don't have the same results as me in terms of growing the way that I have. Anybody can get lucky, can get shouted out and things like that, but very few people can do it again and again and again and again. And every single time it's always gonna be successful because they know what they're doing. You, you only gotta become Kaisen that one time. You only got to become KSI one time. You only got to become I Show Speed one time. Like you can name a lot of these guys who popped off once and they're so, they have these amazing personalities where they'll never be unfamous again. Like when you're that type of person, you only got to get lucky once. It's a completely different skill being able to have success, go to something different, have success again, go to something different, have success again in multiple different lanes on YouTube and constantly prove that you will be successful no matter where you go takes a different type of person to do that. So yeah, that, that's just a, a little bit of game and insight that I got for y'all, man. Hopefully you all understand where I'm coming from and found this video helpful. Um, more videos coming soon. Let me know in the comments what you all want me to speak on. Be sure to check out my course and all that. Links in the description. Drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.